Well, tonight, keep your eyes on the sky. Yeah, there's a reason. The recently discovered green comet is making its way into Earth's orbit for the very first time since the Stone Age, if you can believe that. <laughs> it's a sight you definitely don't want to miss. Tim is at the Adler Planetarium with more. Hey, Tim. Hey guys, you know, I'm excited about it. I'm a meteorologist, but I've got an astronomer here I think is super excited about it. This is Michelle Nichols, who works here at the Adler Planetarium, going on 28 years. You yep. said you've been here? Wow, yep. that's fantastic. So are you guys all geeked out about this? Oh, we are. You don't get a break, uh, even a medium break, or even a sort of break coming every uh, too often. So yeah, we're pretty geeked out. You've already taken a picture of it this morning. How did you do that? Um, used my DSLR camera, set it to be able to gather enough light, took a picture for about three seconds. Okay. And so I got a little fuzzball on the, on the image. So you were actually cool. able to get that. So how could the ordinary person see it? So uh, we're going to have telescopes out at the Adler tonight. So it's Illinois Resident Discount Day. We're open from Excellent. 4 to 10. You can come to the Adler for free uh, if you're an Illinois resident. And we'll have telescopes out starting at 6 o'clock. Awesome. And so fingers crossed that the clouds hold off and we can actually hopefully see it. Now this was not the first comet discovered that year where they found it, right? Right, right. We discover dozens of them a year. But what makes this one so special? It's actually coming close enough to Earth that it gets bright enough that it's within reach of uh, even a small telescope. So yeah, this is a, a pretty special one. So can you put it into context like the size of it from, what did you call it, the nucleus? The nucleus, yes. And the tail. Yep. The nucleus, the, the actual dusty iceberg, is about a quarter mile wide, somewhere less than a half, less than a half mile wide. But the tail can be millions of miles long, wow. or tens of millions of miles long. And the tail is formed when comets get close to the sun, dusty and icy stuff comes off, streams behind the comet. And so that's when you see the tail. And so what gives it the green kind of glow to it? In this case, it's carbon that's emitted, carbon molecules that are emitted by the comet nucleus. And when those interact with ultraviolet light from the sun, you get green light. And so that's what makes that green color. So I've heard them referred to as kind of dusty snowballs, yeah. right? Yep. And so that, that ice sublimates or turns directly to vapor? Correct. So it turns directly to a gas. So there's no, comets don't go dripping through the solar system. So yeah, ice to a gas, streams behind, you get your tail. And it's got a strange name. We call it the Green Comet, but it's got a more technical name. We're going yep. to get into that. And if I was to discover a comet, it would have my name. So hopefully tonight I'm going to go out and discover one. We're going to have more with you coming up at 930. More coming up from the Adelaide Planetarium. Stick it right here. Stay right here for more Good Day Chicago.